in this little demonstration I will show you how to add news to the AIDA news model module uh, on the eAdvice templates. As you see here, news from the projects, you see the different news listed and I want to add a new one. First you need to prepare the material you need. You need an article and you need a picture. And it's very important that you resize the picture to the dimensions 800 times 600. Now we're ready to enter this news article and the picture into your website. We start to go to the back panel and we log in. You go to Content, Article Manager. This is where all the articles on your websites are listed. It's a good thing to narrow down from the category we're looking for. And in this case, it is news from the project. All the articles listed here will automatically appear under news. Now we want to make a new article, so we click New. I now open the text that I want to insert, and you must never put the text directly from words into the website. What you have to do is to highlight it and Control C for copy and first of all put it into notepad. This will remove all the coding from words so you don't get that into your website. When you have the text in notepad you do control A to copy all text, to mark all text and control C to copy the text. Now I open my new article and I give it a title. You don't have to write anything in alias. I now go down to the editor and I control V to paste the text in. Then I go back to the headline. I mark that and I put heading 3 That was one mistake. I have to create a space first between the headline and the rest of the text. I mark it again and heading 3. Automatically you get the right color and the, the way that you want the headline to appear. Now we want to put in the picture. You start by putting the marker before the first word in the article and then you click the insert image. Here you get a list over all the folders you have on your website and we are entering in news so as we have a folder called news I will open that and currently I have four pictures there. I want to upload the new picture that I want to use for this article. In this case it is this picture called 3.jpg. So what I do then, I click on the upload button and I start to browse for the file that I need. Just need to see the location, child 8 Cabinda, and that's the file. Click OK, it appears here on the list, and I do upload.
The picture is now available on the website and as you can see the, it's 800 times 600. What I do now is to insert a picture by double clicking. Automatically I get the name up here. On the alternative text I write a description about the picture. Now what I will do is to resize the picture so it does not appear so big on the website. And normally I will say that it's good to put 300 pixel wide and if I click once outside the, the height will automatically adjust itself. Alignment I will put it to the left of the text and you can see a demonstration up in the preview area. This looks good. I'm happy and I click insert. Now the article looks like I want it to. So I click save and close. Now I go to the front of my website and I reload the page. And you can now see that the new news has come automatically at the top. And I click the read more. And now the article opens exactly like I, I put it in the editor. I can also click on the picture and it will enlarge itself and at the bottom you can see the description that I've wrote in uh, when I inserted the picture. So this is how you insert a new news into the eAdvice template. So basically you have a text, you copy it to Notepad to remove all the coding and you prepare a picture that you want to upload. From there, you go to the back panel, article manager, you select the category news from the project and you basically make a new article. That's the whole procedure and that's all what you have to do to add news to your website.